Hello, everybody. It's me, Carmine Stefano, the Book Man. One of the most legendary, no pun intended, series in all of gaming is Nintendo's Zelda. And it's been going on for over 30 years. Now, they have their most recent entry released called The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So what do I think of this game so far? Well, I've been playing Zelda since the very first one, and I've gotten pretty much every one of them. There are a few exceptions, like the ones that were on the Game Boy and everything, but more or less I know the ins and outs of this series since its inception. And Breath of the Wild was a great game, but not one of my favorite Zelda games, seeing as how some of the unconventions or incon unconventional things that they did were not really the flavor of Zelda that made what it was what it was. So this continues where that left off completely. It's pretty much the same game in its controls and everything like that, and it's not telling you what to do. It's funny how From Software emulates Zelda in its games so that Zelda can emulate From Software in its game. But more or less the it's Tears of the Kingdom, it's not Tears of the Kingdom, but more or less Tears of the Kingdom, what it does is it continues from where Breath of the Wild left off, which is fine. Um, I like the concept of being able to do whatever you want to do. I like these new abilities. They call it a Pura Stone or whatever, or a Pura Slab instead of a Sheikah Slate, but it does more or less the same thing. I always loved the, the interface of the game. I always loved how clean it looked. I always loved how beautiful the world looked. I really liked everything about Breath of the Wild and the fact that you can do whatever you want. And now this game promises to give you even more options. And if that's something, then it's going to be one hell of an experience because you had so much to do in the original one if you wanted. Now this one seems to want to give you more to do. So I'm really interested in seeing that. But if I have just one complaint, just, just one, and this again goes back to Breath of the Wild. I want dungeons. I mean, I get it. You can call me an old fart. You can say I'm just a traditionalist or whatever, but Zelda's games are about the dungeons. That's what it's about. And I do appreciate expanding to the world itself, but the hundred and something shrines and everything, it's not a dungeon with a theme that you go through and fight a bunch of enemies, a mini boss, pick up an item, use that item to fight the boss itself. It wasn't that. There were the Divine Beasts that kind of acted like dungeons, but a lot of it was more or less trying to figure out puzzles, which is what Zelda is too, rather than fighting and combat and whatever. Again, it's a very minor complaint, and if they don't have any kind of dungeons in this and it's pretty much the same thing as Breath of the Wild with a little different flavor, I'm cool with that. That's fine. I'm not saying Breath of the Wild wasn't a great game. It was. It was tremendous. But... In terms of it being my favorite Zelda, my favorite Zelda game, I gotta have them dungeons, baby. If I don't have those dungeons, it's just not Zelda. It's like Metroid without the exploration. It's like Mario without the platforming. It would not be a Zelda game, really, to me, without the dungeons. But again, it's early, so we'll see what happens. Overall, you take one of the greatest games made in recent history, and you expand on it. You have a whole cloud city and everything, Make it more, give you more options, it's got to be great. So if you're a Zelda fan, and especially if you like Breath of the Wild, I definitely suggest you pick this one up. If it's not your flavor, if you're not into the whole action-adventure, puzzle-solving, climbing things, whatever motif, then I would still say get it because Breath of the Wild at least showed that if they're doing that same thing, you could just do whatever you want in this universe. And if you're just not into a little bit more of a cartoonish uh, aesthetic and a little bit more of a breaking weapons, throwing weapons at people thing, then maybe it might not be your thing, but I would still suggest you take a look. But thank you all for watching and more for you soon to come. So stay tuned, take care, and have a great day.
Great fellas, red, blue, yellow, and purple things and stuff.